One of the first things that I was told when I first got my, my first job here in, or over in Honolulu, or in Kailua now, was, uh, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. And I was told that this is kind of a Hawaii thing. And it seemed like it was, uh, it seemed like it was a little deep, you know, okay, what's that mean, what's, how's that go? But, um, as I thought about it over the years, I've, as, as I've tried to apply, it's not who you know, it's who knows you, and why my manager, who was my manager that said that to me, why he was saying that to me. I mean, was it a helpful bit of information that, that only applies to why? And the answer is no, it's, it's BS. It's BS. Um, because it's true everywhere. It's true everywhere. If, if you're going to apply to a job and the people at the job know who you are and like you, then that, that goes way further than you knowing who they are and you liking them. It's always about who knows you. So when I first got here, my manager was saying that to me. What was he really doing? I think, in hindsight, and at the time I didn't feel this way, but you know, in hindsight, I think he's kind of just being a jerk. He's trying to say, you don't matter because nobody knows who you are here. So we can just do whatever we want and you're just gonna have to take it. It's really just kind of a jerk thing to say. It's not, you know, overtly jerky, but it's, it's somebody trying to put you in your place. It's somebody trying to say, nobody knows who you are, get over yourself. Oh, by the way, I, I know somebody who moved here um, about the same time that I moved here, and she was a, a mechanical engineer, and she was working in Walgreens. And the reason is, is that there's no mechanical engineering jobs here. There's some, but, you know, not very many. But within a year, she moved away because it was just too expensive for her, and she couldn't make a living. But a year after that, and now the timelines are a little off, but a year after that, she moved back, so now she's back. So, I'm currently working from home, um, for a company in California. And the reason is that Hawaii tends to pay crap wages. And that's almost across the board. There are a lot of industries that are better, but um, software development's pretty bad. I was making about, not quite half, but more than a third less than what I would normally be making if I was on the mainland. So now, right now, I'm making what I what I normally make for our company, and I'm working less hours, fewer hours, which isn't great because I, I do need to I do need to make more money than I'm making now. But it's all about the hours. So if you come to Hawaii, what kind of jobs, what kind of work, what kind of employment, what kind of money do you think you'd be able to make? Well, probably less than you're making now. Most everyone I know, including my previous manager from my previous job, had um, other sources of income, which is kind of crazy. You know, you're a, you're a manager in a software company and you, you, you're doing things on the side. And he's like asking me to do things on the side too. He's saying, well, why don't you do carpentry on the side? I used to do carpentry years ago. And I could, but that's, you know, the where I make the most money, I've made the most money historically, has been through software development. Anyway, Merry Christmas. As you can see, even on a cloudy day, it's pretty nice. Um, no complaints here. <laughs>